After blowing up their team, everybody thought that the Portland Trailblazers were down bad. But ever since they blew up the team, they're 4 and 1. 4 and 1. This team is 4 and 1. To be clear, I still think the Blazers are in a tough spot, and I don't think they're executing their rebuild plan properly, but they do have one saving grace, and that player is 22-year-old Anthony Simons. Simons really seems to be taking advantage of the injuries and bad players around him and has been balling out. In today's video, I will talk about a little bit about Simons' playstyle, stats, and why being in Portland is actually in a plus for him. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Simons has really broken out this year and his stats for the whole season are 17 points, 3 rebounds, and 4 assists, shooting 45% from the field, 40% from 3, and 89% from the line. That is very efficient. These are very good stats and he has really improved, but believe it or not, these stats don't show the whole picture as to how good he is. Let me explain. These were his stats for the whole season. Damian Lillard's last game was December 31st, 2021, and then he got injured. Up until then, Simons was putting up a decent 11.7 points a game, 2.3 assists, and on roughly 10.7 shots per game. Also, he only started in 4 of those games before Dame got injured. Now that he is injured, in the 23 games Simons has started in, he's put up a crazy 25.8 points per game, 5.8 assists per game, on 18.2 shots per game. His role has drastically increased with Dame being out, and he isn't taking the role for granted. His stats since Dame has been out are all-star numbers for sure, and to make it crazier, his stats even get better. When Lillard originally got out, the Blazers still had other guys like CJ McCollum and Norman Powell, etc., who took all the shots from Simons, and since February 8th, aka the first game without McCollum, Simons has taken another huge leap and has been averaging 28 points per game. This shows how held back Simons has been the last few years with Damon McCollum getting the spotlight. It also shows that Simons can run his own offense and be the number one option on a playoff team because the Blazers are 4-1 since trading CJ. Granted, both his stats and the Trailblazers record in the last 5 games are a small sample size and are sure to go down eventually, but it shows how much potential Anthony Simons has and he has proved that the Blazers or any other team can and should build around him for the future. Now I will talk about Anthony Simons' playstyle. Simons is a decent all-around game and has shown that he can facilitate, defend, and do all sorts of other things, but his true value comes from the offensive game, and scoring in particular. This guy is so crafty, constantly pulling up from deep and stepping back for three. His handles make the defense have no clue what they are doing. He is very ball dominant and benefits when having the ball in his hand, but has shown in previous seasons that he can work off ball and is good with the catch and shoot three. He can also work on the ISO in the ISO situation or in the pick and roll game because his playmaking is kind of going under the radar. His shooting and ball handling have been so amazing recently that we forget how athletic he is. He's constantly blowing by defenders and isn't afraid to go for the big flush. I mean, he did win the dunk contest last season. Anthony Simons literally reminds me of Damian Lillard with his shot creation and shot choices as well as his handles and the ability to run an offense. Dame really did a good job mentoring this guy. And now for the final part of this video, I will talk about why being in Portland is actually very good for Anthony Simons. Usually when we see an amazing all-star caliber young player on a bad small market team, we usually want to say free them. We've seen it with Devin Booker, Zach Levine, uh, a lot of guys like that, De'Aaron Fox, Bradley Beal, but for Anthony Simons, this is not the case. He's not getting any free Anthony Simons chance. And it's because this guy is so underrated and people don't think he should be in the caliber of we need to free this guy. I think there should be people saying free Anthony Simons, free Anthony Simons, but personally, I like the situation Anthony Simons is in with Portland. He gets to be the number one option with a bad team around him and show his true potential. He's going to keep consistently scoring and if the Trailblazers don't add any good players to their team next year, then Anthony Simons will take another leap and average around 20 to 22 points per game. He'll be a borderline all-star and his stats will just keep increasing as long as he is on this bad Trailblazers team. 
That way, when he becomes a free agent in a few years, people will recognize how good he is. And by then, Portland or any other team can give him a really big five-year bag. He'll get so much money and will have the chance to be on a contending team. And potentially, he can even be the number one option on the contending team if the development goes right. Personally, I think he should stay in Portland. I think Portland, they really don't have a foundation to start their rebuild. And I think Simons can really be that guy. You can build a team around him with big men to get him involved in the pick and roll game, along with good shooters around him. Just build the perfect team for Anthony Simons and the Portland Trailblazers can literally be a top five team in the Western Conference in a few years if the rebuild goes right that is. And even if he does not stay, he can go into free agency as an unrestricted free agent, signed to a championship contending team be the number two or number three option and get the big bag. Either way, it's a win-win for Anthony Simons because with the way he's been playing, he definitely will be a star one day and he will definitely be getting the big bag and a long-term contract in years to come. So that's gonna wrap up my video talking about Anthony Simons and why he's so underrated and why being in Portland is so good for him. I just couldn't watch Anthony Simons play this good and not talk about him. He deserves his own video. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.